Hampton, I announced the 2014 Make It Wearable contest. It was a great success. Over 2,000 submissions from all over the world were submitted. Today, I'm announcing that we'll be doing the Make It Wearable contest 2015 again this year. We promise to make it even bigger and better. More details to come as the year rolls out. But what I want to show you tonight was this year's winner, the first place winner and the recipient of the $500,000 grand prize, Nixie, the first wearable camera that can fly. So let me invite Yelena and Christoph, Team Nixie, to the stage. Hi, Yelena. Hi, Brian. Hey, Christoph. Hi. So, Yelena, could you just talk to us a little bit? How did you come up with this idea? Well, Christoph and I have worked in technology for a long time. We both love photography, we have lots of equipment, and we felt like we had what we needed to capture our favorite moments until we missed a big one, our daughter's first steps. Uh, we were so excited, and the photo we ended up with was a close-up of her face, kind of like this, from our phones, after she had already sat down. And we were really sad, and we asked ourselves, why is it hard to capture that moment? So we set out to create a solution, a camera that you can access really quickly because it's wearable, a camera that gives you an amazing perspective because it can fly, and a camera that frees you to enjoy the moment, frees your hands and your attention because it's autonomous. You don't need to operate it at all. So, so Christoph, can you tell us a little bit about how Nixie works? Yeah. Nixie comes with you throughout your day. And wh whenever there's a moment uh, that you want to capture, like being on stage at the keynote, you just flick it off your wrist. And now it's actually ready to go. You don't need a remote control. You don't even need to put take the cell phone out of your pocket to control it in some way. It's autonomous. It has sensors in there that give it awareness of space, and so all you need to do is to flick it in a direction. It's gonna go there, take a picture, and return. Okay, so I've promised everybody that we do everything live here at CES, so can we see it live? I think we should give it a try. Okay, so <laughs> now those of you in the audience, get your cameras ready because we're about to witness history here. We're going to see Nixie take the first ever flying photo on uh, the CES stage. So, so let's get in our positions and uh, let's give it a try here. Yeah, come closer. <laughs> okay, let her go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yelna, can you tell us a little bit about where, where do you see this kind of technology and Nixie going in the future? Well, in addition to the, oh wow, I get to wear a wearable, flyable camera with <laughs> me and that's awesome. Uh, we also see this as the natural evolution of photography. So cameras were initially really big, they were manual, you had to work and know how to use them. Then you had auto exposure, you had auto focus, cameras got lighter and smaller and more portable. So what we're offering here is auto composition, right? Auto positioning, a camera that you don't even need to think about because it does everything effortlessly. And as a team, personally, of course, we're growing our team. Uh, we'd love for you to get in touch with us if you're interested, keep, uh, keep track of us on flynixie.com. From a product perspective, we're gonna make it smaller, cooler looking, and work on the image quality. You guys have made great progress in the two months since the contest ended. I, I have one more thing, though. I'd like you to help us make this the biggest Twitter moment of CES. I'd like you to tweet the following picture with the hashtag, Boom. Fly Nixie. <laughs> that's live, that's real. <laughs> Thanks, Yelena. Thanks, Christoph. This was great. Thank you. Thank you so much.